Hi Isaac Alumni France, <laughs> welcome to the Isaac Alumni European family. Um, Otman and Lorong, I met already in a NAA call that we have every month and Otman wrote me some questions that <laughs> you would like to have an answer on and uh, that you will use at your planning weekend. So uh, let's go through it. So what is the role of Isaac Alumni Europe and AI and the link between them? So basically all of us are different association and uh, ISEC Alumni Europe, we see ourselves as an association of the European Alumni Association. And uh, we all, uh, um, we see ourselves also as a service provider for the different NAAs across Europe and also helping to facilitate uh, best practices across the region, supporting new NAAs uh, in the setup phase, uh, provide them with knowledge, connections, networking, and uh, on a bigger scale, bring everybody together in conferences. So our conference cycle sees uh, two main uh, interaction points. And these are uh, first, uh, EREC, the European Regional Alumni Congress, which happens this year from 25th to 28th of April. Uh, we still have some tickets available, so if one or two of you would like to join us, we would be very happy to have you. And uh, this is for alumni at large, it goes about uh, personal development, we will have uh, we will have different workshops, we will have alumni talks, and uh, we're also there um, having a workshop about the alumni scene program that I will tell you later on about it. And um, yeah, so that's about that. Um, on a global scale, we have uh, Isaac Alumni International. Isaac Alumni International uh, does more or less what we do, but on a global level and also connecting with the regions. And as it's quite some work to do, uh, AI would not be able to help everybody, every country in the world to set up an AA to provide the brains, uh, best case, best practice uh, sharing and so on. And that's why we have the regional organizations. Also, we have different realities. So it would be really, um, uh, it's, so it's really good to have the regions and also for the uh, organizing regional uh, interactions, meetings, conferences, the regional level is necessary. Um, the second question is objective point of view regarding Isaac Alumni France involvement in the network. Um, so basically France is a big country, so we see you as a uh, yeah, also, uh, it would be great to have you uh, with a presence uh, in our national alumni uh, association calls and to see you also at our conferences. And by the way, I just to remember, I forgot the second conference that we run, which is always in autumn. Uh, this year, it will be in Sicily from the 8th to the 10th of November, which is only for NAA leadership. And there we, it's more like kind of a workshop style uh, working meeting with the leaders from the different countries. So we will talk about strategy. We will talk about uh, what are your plans for the next year. We will see uh, where AE is heading, which best case practices we can share. We will talk this year also about the alumni theme program. There will be a new uh, topic for uh, the next two years uh, be chosen. And... Uh, have a first workshop on what to do with this topic. So that's what it all is about. And uh, so what are we expecting uh, from uh, NAAs in general and from you in particular is uh, we expect the NAAs to take part actively in the network. So to uh, take part in the calls, to share their experiences, uh, good or bad. For example, in the last NAA call last week, we shared about uh, newsletters. So how every country is working, uh, are they posting or writing in their national language or do they do that in English? Uh, which, um, how often is the newsletter published? Uh, which tool is used and uh, 
also how many people are reached, if there are any statistics available on how many people are opening uh, the newsletter. And from our European side, we decided to provide uh, input for uh, your national newsletter. So we will do three to four topics every month uh, that you can just copy and paste and put a picture to it and have the link and put it in your uh, newsletter. So you have to write less content or you have also some European content. Yeah, so really what we would like to see from France is uh, to actively participate, uh, be present at the conferences and bring the, the European programs down to national level. Um, then uh, the question is presentation of uh, ATP or similar project. So uh, on the... Um, on a European level, like programs that we have is uh, mainly three programs. Uh, one is alumni, and I think you do that in a little bit different name in France, uh, the after work. The second thing is um, A groups. Uh, that's kind of a, a special circle uh, of Isaac alumni that regularly meet and discuss uh, topics that are important to them. And it's kind of exclusive until the circle decides to, to grow or to split up and create new circles. And if you come to Eric Albin from the UK, who's running a group successfully in London, he can give you more information on that. And third is the alumni scene program. Uh, those of you who have been uh, in ISEC in the 19s, it's based on the global scene program where a topic was chosen for two or three years and then all the countries took that topic and run with it, provided panel discussions, workshops, um, whatever you could think of, they made it. And then the results were collected in, um, in a booklet. So I think I have one or two uh, from the 19s. One was about leadership, uh, I think uh, leadership in the 21st century. And the other one was about corporate social responsibility. And we started at 2015 in Reims and uh, in France. And uh, the first topic was about uh, um, education, exchange and uh, um, economy. And then two years ago in London, we decided to have a new topic and the new topic is break out of the routine. And it's not directly linked with the sustainable development goals, but we encourage people to do also something with the sustainable development goals. And we had uh, until yesterday, so it's 31st of March, we had a video challenge going on that will be awarded during uh, EREC in Czech Republic. And it was about people doing a project of uh, break out of the routine and doing a video about what they have done. So we have a couple of uh, things that we will present at EREC or that you can already see on our Facebook page. One is about Irina in Nuremberg in Germany picking up garbage and actually activating the, the local people. So she got like 30 people to pick up um, rubbish in public places together with her. And uh, another one is about Thea from uh, Romania, who went out of the city and started planting um, trees to uh, have a better, better environment. So that are just two examples of break out of the routine, but there are more out there. So um, it's still running till November. So if you have any ideas what you could do to make a uh, your country or city or community a better place uh, to live uh, then uh, go out and do it and pr even the challenge is over it doesn't matter make a video so we can communicate about it and showcase it to others and um, uh, main touch points with the net within the network I would say uh, uh, on, on one hand, you have uh, us, uh, the board of ISEC Alumni Europe. We have four people. Uh, so far, at the moment, all German speaking. So uh, an Austrian and a Swiss guy and two girls from Germany. I'm one of them. And um, 
but we have an extended management team. So there are people who support us in different roles. And uh, there we have uh, a girl from Hungary, uh, um, Jan from Belgium and uh, Petra from Serbia, as well as uh, Diana from Italy and Jean-Paul from, from Cameroon, who lives in Poland. So it's, we are nine people in total. And uh, touch points are also the NAA call. You can reach out to us personally. You can look at our website, which is uh, www.isec-alumni.eu. We have a Facebook page. Uh, there's also a group about breakout of the routine that's linked to the Facebook page. So just take a look. And uh, we are also on LinkedIn and um, in Alumnet. So um, there are a lot of ways to contact us or to, to share our content. And I would be really, really happy to see your interactions on social media, but also to see you in person. So. Be, be very, very much invited to come to EREC and later on to step up. And don't be shy. Don't come with one person. Come with two, three, four or come with the whole board. We would be delighted to see you all. So thank you very much for listening to me and have a nice day. Have a good planning. Bye bye.